Hello everyone, this is Tatiana and welcome to my channel. It's been two whole months since I last saw my client and from the looks of it, her nails are more than ready for a correction. Today we're completing a classic French tip. It's going to be so beautiful so you don't want to miss it. During these two months, my client has filed down some of the length and used super glue on some lifting. However, fortunately the super glue has already come off so I can calmly remove the lifting. I'm filing down the prior coating with my nail drill using 30,000 RPMs. And I'm not slowing down in one spot as to not harm her nail. The important part is to notice the area where the lifting ends. This way you can remove it with the tip of your nail bit and then further remove the product from the nail. I'm paying close attention to see where the product ends and the natural nail begins. Once the lifting has been cut out, you can easily remove it from the nail, and that's how it's done. When filing, make sure to hold the nail drill parallel to the nail plate. This way you'll be able to remove the product evenly and you won't be left with any steps in the coating once the lifting has been removed. I've removed all of the lifting, so now with my nail file, I'm filing down the natural nail. This is needed for adhesion of the new product. If this isn't done properly, the product won't stick to the nail and will end up with lifting. Now for the cuticle cleanup. This step is also necessary in order to avoid lifting, and there's nothing like a beautiful cleanup by the cuticle to complement your design. Further, I'm dehydrating her nails, applying a primer and a base coat. After the base coat has cured underneath the lamp, we're continuing with our poly gel, which we'll be using to create a precise and beautiful square shape on the free edge. I didn't bring the poly gel out to the very ends of her nails as I will be filing them down and this will make the filing a whole lot easier. To achieve a precise square shape on the tips, we'll also need to file on top. Now with my nail drill, I'm removing the thickness from underneath. By removing the thickness underneath, we're creating both the arch and beautiful thin tips. And for any of you that may be wondering, this beautiful C-curve is 100% natural. They already look so beautiful and now for the French tip. I'm starting off by coating her nails in this cold beige that my client chose. This color is pigmented nicely and looks really great against her skin.
Further, I'm removing the stickiness and getting ready to draw a beautiful smile line. I bought these brushes not too long ago and I'm really excited about using this one here which is especially made for creating a French tip. Usually I use a thin brush like this one when creating a French tip on shorter nails and a flat beveled brush like this one for longer nails. So let's try this new brush. Using this brush is a little strange at first, and it isn't the easiest to use on my client's nails. And unfortunately, I didn't even notice that there was a longer bristle sticking out, leaving longer lines behind, so we'll need to fix that. Since her nails are longer, I'm flipping the brush over and using the small edge of the brush to draw the line down from the side. For now, I can't use this brush perfectly in one motion, and it looks like it's going to take some getting used to, but that's like everything, practice makes perfect. So in the meantime, I will be using my smaller brush in order to perfect the smile line. Next I'm using my beveled brush, which I'm able to work with a lot quicker. And once again, I'll be using the smaller brush in order to touch everything up. The most important part is not which brush you're using, but that your French tip looks identical on all 10 nails. And in order to get that perfect French tip on all 10 nails, you'll need to do it just by looking at them, comparing them, and of course, a lot of experience. I'm drying our French tip with a gel paint and coating everything in a glossy top coat. And last but not least, filing the tips and lower sides of the nails, leaving everything precise, even, and beautiful. And here they are. I think they turned out so beautiful. What do you guys think? And would any of you like to see more videos on French tips? Let me know down in the comment section below. If you liked this video and found it helpful, then please give it a big thumbs up, and until next time.